Almost a month ago, Target announced it had been hacked. Tonight, the Target hacker has a name, Rescuter. And tonight, security experts are examining the computer virus to see if there are any other clues. Tom Leiden's been working this late-breaking story, and Tom, I'm surprised there just wasn't security software to catch this. It that, seems pretty basic. That's an excellent question. In the business, they call it FUD, or fully undetectable, which is apparently what this was. This malware was specifically designed to go undetected and specifically designed for Target. But the hacker wasn't shy about any of this. In fact, he was proud. He may have even signed his name. It may be the needle in the digital haystack. The discovery of a simple line of code in a computer virus with the name of a notorious and anonymous Russian hacker, Rescator. We caught up with security expert Mark Lannerman tonight, who told us two weeks ago the target hacker had a Russian MO. Russian malware is very aggressive, and because of that, it's very good. And the developers, they don't care if you eventually find them because they're not the middleman. They're simply selling this product at market. A number of tech blogs broke the story this evening, also laying out details of how it worked. The malware installed at checkout was a so-called RAM scraper, collecting information from the magnetic strip of your credit card before it could be encrypted. But here's the wild part. Six days later, it sent that data to a server inside Target, a Trojan horse, if you will, which uploaded 11 gigabytes of stolen data over two weeks. Either this is yet another breach because the server had to have been controlled by the hacker or perhaps this is an inside job. Rescator, who's believed to be a young man living in Odessa, Ukraine, has been openly selling the malware on the black market for as little as $2,300. That may be all it took for one of the biggest digital heists in history. But is it possible someone could simply be using Rescator's name to throw authorities off their trail? Lannerman says possible but doubtful. My experience is that hackers have egos and they want credit for their works of art. This software is near and dear to the author and he wants to be acknowledged as the author. So my guess is that truly is the author. There are some 40 commercial antivirus tools on the market and a month after the target breach there is still apparently not a single one that can detect this particular piece of malware. It is that good. No comment from Target tonight on this story, Karen. So there's no warnings or anything about this virus being out there? Yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, a few months ago, before this hack, there were actually warnings from Symantec, which is a very big in the, uh, the malware virus business. They had this warning out on their website, but the moment the target hack happened, mm -hmm. they took it down. Oh. The speculation out there is the Secret Service may have asked them to take it down, maybe because there's no fix for it yet. Hmm, more to this story for sure. Absolutely. Or a lot more. All right, thanks, Tom.